Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day today. Uh, it's me, DM Dave, and today I thought I might do something a little bit different and actually um, create a one-shot adventure in, oh, let's say 35 minutes or less, okay? So it's 526 on my clock right now. Let me go ahead and get started. All right, so what I want to do is first get the map. I'm actually going to go to whatabow.itch. <laughs> if I could type it. <laughs> what about that itch .io. I'm going to go to one page dungeon here. And it's going to create a um, procedurally generated dungeon for me along with the notes. <clears throat> I don't need all these details here, so I'm going to hit left click, or excuse me, right click. I'm going to rotate to fit. I'm going to, um, let's see, what else do I want to do? Um, I'm gonna turn off the notes. And I'm going to save it. I think that's good. I'm going to export it as a PNG. Alright. Cool. We got our map. Let's go ahead and plug this into our uh, Photoshop real quick. I'm going to number it up. The numbers that they, that uh, what about labels, aren't the best, so I try not to use them. Let's see, let me get a good font here. We're going to put on interstate real fast. Let's make this uh, six. There we go. That's good. Okay, this will be room one. Remember, we always follow the left wall, so basically go clockwise. And that'll get you exactly what you want. So we're going to end up with about <clears throat> oh no it's our secret room there room with a looks like a fountain room with a statue alright and I've got Metallica playing with this because uh else could I possibly get motivated to do something so metal to make a little dungeon for 6 p.m. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Make that shrine up at the top. That'll be our last room. Alright. I'm even going to go as far as to organize all my numbers so they're nice and straight. Cutting into my time, cutting it close, right? I hope I can do it. Alright. Four, three, five, and six. Let's seven, eleven, twelve. Looks like they now, I wouldn't normally have to be this organized, but I figured, what the hell. Okay, cool. We got all of this. Let's go ahead and put a secret door in here, too. Make this red. Move it into this spot right there. And I'm going to take all these guys here, put them into one folder, turn on a stroke so they're a little bit easier to see. Don't need it that big. And we are good. We've got our basic map here, and I can turn all that off. Let's go ahead and see what it has. Quickie map under our downloads. Alright, we've got exactly 30 minutes to spare now. Back to real cool. We'll save this as the DM versions. Perfect, look at that. All the numbers line up perfectly. So this map is image size um, 1610 by 1610. It's 23 by 23. Alright, let's go ahead and open up. Am I biting off more than I can chew? If I also set it up and go to prop, it doesn't matter, I'm going to do it <laughs>
35 minute dungeon. got a spreadsheet already open here. Let's go ahead and we'll call this 35 minute dungeon. Got our areas. We'll do area 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, chamber contents. We'll get two and then we'll have encounter. Um, actual XP multiplier. Adjusted XP per character difficulty. Let's go ahead and make this um, let's do a um, we'll do a first level adventure. I like those um, tend to be pretty popular. Right, I'm going to open up to page 296 of my DMG to start figuring out my random contents in there. Alright. Now, if you've seen my world building videos, you've probably seen me do this before. What I'm going to do is create a ran between, ran between colon between 100. That's going to give me some random numbers for that. We are going to, because the formula can be kind of unstable, we're going to paste special, paste values only. Chamber contents 5 is dominant. Uh, also, that 5 is dominant. 20 is going to be pet allies. 64 is trap. 56 is hazard with treasure. 85 is empty room. 19 is pet ally. 83 is another empty room. Uh, so is 87. 99 just says treasure, so is 97. 74 is trap with treasure. Okay, cool. Don't have a lot of encounters here, do we? Now, this is going to be a first level adventure. So, our total, and we're going to make it for, uh, let's go ahead and make it for five people. So, that's number of daily XP is 300. We're going to have 1500 in our budget here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Encounters, not a lot of encounters, a lot of traps. Make sure I count it right. One, two, three, four. Only four encounters, pretty impressive. I'll let the dog out. I wonder if I get to just count my time for doing that. All right, so dominant. Um, I'm gonna do a monster that I haven't done in a while. That's a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna go to Donjon to figure out our dominant monster. Can I do it? Can I make it in 35 minutes? Uh, let's see, monster list. Once we got everything organized by challenge rating, we're gonna do a monster manual so it's SRD friendly. Um, let's see. What about some, let's look at humanoids. Got a lot of humanoids I can use. Cobalts would be fun, there's a lot of traps in there too. Let's do cobalts. Okay, so cobalts. Let's see, we're going to have some dominance right in the front. Cobalts are 25 apiece. We've only got four encounters out of 1,500, so that's going to be 375 encounter, total encounter experience per. So uh, let's go ahead and divide this by 50. So I could put in, let's do six. Six cobalts. That's going to be 25 each for 300. Multiplier is two. Uh, adjusted XP is going to be this number times two, and then this divided by four. Uh, it's pretty deadly. Let's shrink it down so I don't want to kill them in the front door with a bunch of cobalts. I mean, that'd be funny. Oh, you know what? Let's divide it by five. That's a little bit better, but still. Let's go with only four cobalts. So it's going to be 200, same multiplier. Let's say four cobalts. This is now going to be a hard encounter. Uh, pet and ally for cobalt should be some kind of fun. Um, what's a good... Let's take a look at our map real quick to figure out where we want to put what. Alright, two is kind of a round room. Um, 
roughly 25 feet across. I think just one big monstrosity would be kind of fun. Let's make it a, uh, remember we have 375 experience to do, so that's going to be approximately um, 450, which is 90 per character. Uh, that's a CRT monster, so let's look at CRT monsters. Let's have some sort of animal, something that would not be as smart as the cobalt itself. Uh, an ant keg would be kind of cool, Azer. Uh, carrying crawler. I'm gonna make this uh, SRD friendly, so I'm not gonna use a carrying crawler. Edder caps are fun, but a little bit s too smart for what I'm looking for. Uh, Griffin, Grick. Gricks are always fun. It's a little bit too. Gricks are better in, in caverns. Polar bear, Quagoth, saber tooth tiger would be fun. Um, Swarm of poisonous snakes is always. Favorites. So let's do that. Swarm of poisonous snakes. Alright, next we need a pet and ally for area 6. Let's see where area 6 is. How are we on time? Doing good. Okay, that's our shrine. Uh, where's our other one? Dominant's in that room there. Okay, that'll be the boss. Pet and ally. All right, let's get another good pet and ally for um, Sue Challenge Rating One. I think would be good. Um, I like something a little bit more creepy crawly. Dire wolves are always fun. Bears are fun. Uh, Scarecrows. I wish I could use, but. No swarms? Uh, swarm equippers. That's not the water room, is it? No, that's number five. Oh, let's just put a tiger in there. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> that's all you gotta do, really. It's, it's pretty easy to build these out once you understand how to do kind of the math on it. Uh, medium. Alright, and we got our dominant. I, did, I didn't draw a single random, did I? That's, that's rare. Alright, so Dominant will be in there. What is the boss of these um, Cobalt? Let's have two Cobalts plus one other monster. We need to make it around 375, so 375 minus... Um, let's have a... Um, I'll use um, Cult Fanatic with uh, some adjusted Cobalt stuff, so that wouldn't make it too different. No, Cult Fanatic's too high. Uh, maybe just a plain... Maybe an Acolyte. Alright, so we'll do the Acolyte. Acolyte is, uh, I think, CR14, so 50 plus, let's give him 3 Cobalt Henchmen. Um, that's a 125. Oops. Fortunately, I can't use the, um, the Sorcerer type. Um, it's still an even counter, isn't it? Let's see what our sun is up to so far. Total all this up real fast. We're at 1300. Let's go ahead and add. Let's add two more cobalts here, so it's 175. You know, we can probably go. Let's see what we got. One cobalt, acolyte, plus. That's 50 plus uh, 125. Yeah, that's 175. If I bring it up to 2.5, and I'll make it an even 200. There we go. I think that's good. That's going to be a medium encounter. Oh, nope, that's a deadly encounter. Actually, this one is too. This is one of the most mistakes. It's a deadly encounter. Okay, cool. So, we've got all of our basic stuff built out for encounters. Okay, let's get some traps. I'm going to use some random traps from BMG uh, again. I'm going to go all the way to the back here. And... Let's see. Trap effects. Uh, we'll use our dice roller. Twenty-nine is a <laughs> flesh to stone. That's a little rough. How about just a zap? 
All right. Touch an object. Get zapped for 1d6. Um, hazard with treasure. We will do um, some sort of mold covering the treasure. Empty room, empty room, treasure will be whatever we need for treasure. What room is that actually? Number eight. So this room has a treasure in it. Okay. Um, another trap with the treasure, so let's roll that again. That, uh, 36. That's going to be vent releases gas. Um, let's just say gas. I don't necessarily have to do it exactly what it says. trap. Maybe a sleeping gas trap. That's fine. Okay. That's room number nine, which is here. Okay. Cool. So kind of a, there's some treasure in there. Let's see what our treasures are going to be. So I'm going to build a treasure inventory for a first level adventure. Um, according to Xanathar's guide, you basically get one treasure hoard for adventure. So what I normally do is I create an inventory from my treasure using the treasure tables in the oh my gosh I'm not flipping fast enough oh no I've got 18 minutes to finish <laughs> how far can I, how far along can I get this treasure <laughs> all right so let's see here's our treasure hoard table for challenge rating of zero let's um, let's see for all right, uh, gold. Uh, you know what? Actually, it's copper is gonna be uh, 66 times one, two, three, four, five, six. So 14 times 100, so 1400 um, copper, silver. much silver to get. Uh, silver is 36 times 100. So one, two, three. And seven hundred miles he rolls. Suck a dungeon. 700 silver. Gold is 2d6 times 10. Uh, five. 50 gold pieces. Well, they're cobalt, you know. If they were good at making gold, they wouldn't have to be cobalt, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. Next up is going to be to determine our magic items uh, and gems or art objects. So that is a roll of um, one, which is nothing. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> that stinks. Uh, okay. So no gems, no magic items, or treasure. But we can take all of the money that we have on our treasure and divide it up where it's needed. Um, let us give... 12 is probably going to have our biggest treasure. So let's have... Um, uh, let's have the bulk of it there. And you know what? This is actually 14, 70, 50. In terms of actual gold... Let's have a chest with 100 gold in there, a chest with 100 gold pieces, so you gotta get through the bad guys to get to it. 87 is empty, trapped with treasure. Let's see, there's, um, I don't know, some hidden treasure in the wall. Maybe somebody tried to stuff, the last person who fell unconscious in there tried to stuff the, um, the thing releasing the gas with it. Um, hazard with treasure, we'll have another 10. 25 gold pieces that you can find in there. Um, 10. Let's see, 5 gold pieces in there. That's all the treasure right now. Oh! Number 8 is some treasure. 8 is that room. You know, I want to give an art object for that, so we'll say a 10 gold piece art. Silver crown on statue. I think that's it. All right, cool. So we've got um, all of our areas figured out. Let's see if we can get it in there. I got 15 minutes to spare. 
and get it into roll 20. Ha <laughs> ha! If it'll launch. Alright. Let's go to the library. Go ahead and get this starting uploading in case there's a slowdown with that. We have our just our regular quickie map. I will adjust my features while it's loading. To zoom. Make my avatar size names only. As much as I love viewing my own beautiful face. Um let's see, I'll shrink this down to 35 so I can start editing it. Restrict walls. Remember it's 23 by 23. So let's we'll put that on there. See what we're going to drop this guy into here real quick. Move it to our correct layer, which is the map layer. Shift the map layer. Resize to 23 by 23. Okay, got 13 minutes on the clock. Let's see if I can get my dynamic lighting done in time. I think I can. So we'll start polygon tool, we'll get our pink, and we'll fly through this real fast to do. Wow. You guys watching the clock? Cause I'm not. Thirteen minutes. Uh, Thought about running a game show where uh, people have to kind of do these kind of experiments to see if they can kind of like the British baking show but uh D&D &D instead <laughs> because the um, ending boxes are going to be a little bit bigger um, you'll be able to see the edge of the wall but you won't be able to walk into it so if anybody was wondering why I'm overdrawing a little bit that is the reason why uh, cobalts have dark vision, so I'm going to forego putting in any kind of actual light sources. don't think it's necessary for our little scaly trap makers. Bam. Done. Alright, let's get indoors. Obvious, isn't it? But we're we're on a, we're running on a clock. <laughs> All right, I'm going to shrink it back down to the right value. Actually, let's go ahead and get dynamic lighting on as well, and we will turn this back to 70. How much time do I got? 11 minutes to put all of our tokens in. I think we are looking pretty good. I got to put in numbers too, don't I? Otherwise, how am I going to know what's where? So let's see. See the GM layer. Switch the GM layer. Eight, 
ten. This is slow. <laughs> this is like painfully slow. Eleven and twelve. All right. I probably don't have enough time to make my own cobalt token, so I'm just gonna go straight from the. Um... <sighs> you know what? Screw it. I've only got a few monsters in here. I think I've got everything that I need. Let's make this whole thing SRD friendly. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Um, that one I can use. I also had a tiger. Mm, what's a super two tiger, but it's close enough. Tigers are large. And, oh, what was the other thing? Swarm. Snakes. Alright, cool. Um, I've actually got my compendiums on, so I actually have to go out, turn off my compendiums, and come back in. Oof, that's going to eat some time up. So, if you want to turn off your compendiums, like if you bought a bunch of the books, you have to actually go into here, go to your game D, oops, um, Lord. compendium settings, turn off anything, that way you can just go straight for the SRD. Eight minutes. Eight minutes to get all these guys tied up and wired and right. Just so people at home don't know, I did not do any sort of dry run with this. So this is just uh, me challenging myself today. And, oh no, we got that acolyte too. Oh, That's what I have to give myself that one. <laughs> Alright, there's my cobalt. There's my tiger. Um, I don't remember what tigers have. 37. Okay. Six minutes. Ditto, our swarm of poisonous snakes. Let's see here. Uh, 36. They do have dark vision, okay. Not necessary, but you know, if we're gonna do something, let's do it right. And our acolytes. Actually, paste this character sheet. He's got nine hit points instead of one. Don't we? Let's sort the small humanoid. It's 2d6, which is an average of 7. He's got. Uh. Draconic. 60 feet. Boy, this is really pushing it. I think I, uh. Pack. 
to copy. That's for pack tags. Alright. Everything else is good. Alright, let's get these guys in here real quick. Four minutes. Oof. Alright, what did I say we had? Four of these nerds in there. Oh shit, I forgot to tie them up to their tokens. There's no time. There's no time. Here, let's take them all. And uh, I'll do that, make that the last thing I do so it's, um, it looks good. Alright, we'll post all these freaks in there. Let's put our snakes. We'll have it hiding in there. Tiger goes in ooh, area 6, I think. And our cobalt acolyte is in this area here. Let's go ahead and get the rest of our cobalts where they're supposed to go. One. Two, three, uh, just four, right? It's the boss has the uh, the backup, so he's got a bunch with him. Three minutes, three minutes. All right, cool. Let's scroll down. We need a secret door. Come on. Of course, now roll 20 feels like being slow as hell for me. Go figure. Let's put this on the GM layer. Put you there. You will also go to the GM layer. Okay, cool. I've got all my tokens. All I need to do now is make my pogs where they're supposed to be, or so that they come out right. Let's edit. That's it. That's a wrap. We did it. Don't have a name for the dungeon, but <laughs> by golly, we have it. There it is. I have created a dungeon from creating a map to um, fixing it in Photoshop, um, throwing in all my encounters. Granted, I didn't put in a lot of details with this, but I've at least got enough information to um, run something here effectively. I uh, put in my dynamic lighting. I got all my monsters ready using non-SRD. Uh, or using uh, SRD friendly stuff from with art from Dean Spencer as well as Shutterstock and um, yeah everything looks cool so this is ready to go anyways I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> didn't know if I could do it but there I did um, and uh, yeah it's really that simple anyways I will see you guys next time be sure to like and subscribe